good old Oregon weather out here. Tell you what, I wouldn't want it any other way. Are you rolling on sound or am I just talking to myself? Hey guys, I'm Bradley Oni and we're here in beautiful Oregon. We're gonna meet up with the folks from the Tillamook Creamery, see how they make cheddar, see how they make ice cream. Let's get inside. Huh? Hey, how's it going, Bradley? Hey, good, Liam Wustenberg. Oh, nice, nice to, to meet you, man. You. So, what do you what do you do here at Tillamook? Uh, I'm a cheesemaker, born and raised in Tillamook. We're a farmer-owned co-op, 111 years old. We make cheese, butter, ice cream, yogurt, sour cream, all all the good dairy yeah. products. Yep. Right. So I see you got uh, cooking vats. We bring in about. 1.7 million pounds of milk a day. And within 24 hours, that's turned into cheese. Um, we don't actually fully pasteurize our milk. So you're not killing everything. Kill the bad stuff, but we want to let some of the good stuff through. That's, I think that's an important part, I'd imagine, in getting like a it high is. quality depth of flavor. Just like any food, cheese, start with the raw ingredient. It has to be high quality if you're going to make a high quality. Right, so, like, so after all, so you got your milk, you got your quality milk. How do we get from that to cheese? We run that milk up here into the cooking vats, inoculate that with starter. These are good bacteria that we're introducing, lactic acid bacteria. They take lactose and they chew it up and make it into lactic acid. Sure. It's a fermentation process. That tanginess, yep. right? We're adding uh, two to 300 pounds of, of homegrown culture that we oh, grow wow. here. So that's the inside of the, of the this cheddar. Is, yep, so this is the cheddar master. So, so you were um, a cheddar master. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite there yet. <laughs> what the cheddar master is doing is making the perfect atmosphere within the curd yep. to continue the fermentation yep. process. It's cool. Um, yeah, if you're in the cheese, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say we jump down into the, the cheddar making process. Huh? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, bud. We're down here in the cheddar factory. We're going to go into the cheese department out on the floor and. You look go great, look by the, the way. Process. Thank you. Almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> Doctor. Oh. <laughs> so here we are wow. in the Kirk phase. It's all so the way this up was just to... raw milk. Yeah, well, this was start. just raw milk at the start. It's off of a 53,000 pound vat. We're getting about five to 6,000 pounds of cheese. Oh, wow. And the rest is way. All right, so we finished, yep, we finished cooking in the vat. We're ready to separate the curds away and drain the whey off, right? And send the curd down into the cheddaring process. So here we're pumping over oh, into wow. a big trough here. And all that curd is coming over onto a screen. And the whey is going out and it's going in a pan and basically draining, draining out. Wow. Very cool. Whoa. Here we've got all our individual curds. Look at those little buttons. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Look how much liquid still in there, right? Yeah. It's so tempting to bite this. I know. <laughs> Have you eaten that? Oh, yeah. Tastes good. We can't do it right now, though. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Agitator. <laughs> so here we've gone over the drain belt. We've stirred out some of the moisture. We're just letting it mat together. Watch your head. It's one big mat of cheese by now. Wow, it looks so different, right? Yeah, it's cutting it into those little fingerling-sized curds, right? The salt lances here going back and forth, so. Yeah, that's spraying salt onto it. So you can see once we've salted them, there's a heck of a skin on there, actually. Yeah, it sets up, right? Yep. Oh, wow. Don't eat it. I know. <laughs> I know. What a process. Yeah, this is ready to be pressed. Speaking right. of pressing. That's what we got here. Yeah, man. We come out of the curd distributor. We move the curd with vacuum up. Does it ever get clogged? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we go into a series of pipes that are pulled by vacuum. We go into what we call cheese towers. So we fill that column from, from the bottom all the way up that 16 feet oh, wow. with cheddar curd. That's just filled solid. That's filled solid. Wow. So down at the bottom, we have a big platform that comes up and it guillotines that block off and pushes it out. From there, they get palletized and they go to age in our warehouse. We want to get them down under 55 degrees. Just in this warehouse here, it's about 35 million pounds just aging here. Wow. I think on site, we have about 50, 55 altogether. Yeah. As it ages, well, I'm sure it's just developing flavor. And... Absolutely. At about 70 days, two months down the line, that's going to go into our So sensory. what happens after you're done? How's it go from here into? The finished product. So at 70 days, we run through sensory, right? Yep. What is what is the sensory? Sensory is the evaluation of the cheese, all visual, aroma, flavor. We is do robots that. doing this? Nope, these are people. This oh, is a whole team we have. 
Sounds like a pretty uh, pretty important and skillful job. Yep, so I'm gonna actually hand you off to uh, Sam. All right, put me to gonna, work, man. She's gonna let you taste some cheese and put you to work. Yeah. Awesome, well, Liam, yep. thanks, man. Yeah. Walk the rise person out. <laughs> Brad, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for having me, excited. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah. Welcome to the Sensory Lab. My name is Samantha Shepard, and um, I'm the sensory manager here at Tillamook County Creamery. All right. I work with a team of eight super tasters, and collectively, we have about 70 years of combined experience. Super tasters, That's huh? That's right. You know, 25% of people are just naturally born into that super taster realm. It means you have really heightened senses. We love to work with those people. And then there's about 50% of the population who are solid average tasters with training, they can get to that super taster realm. I think I fall in the category of trainable average guy. But after this, you're probably gonna, you know, this is training. Today, I'm gonna take you on a tasting journey of our delicious and fabulous cheeses. Our cheddar cheeses, and all the way to our stirred curds with some flavor variety thrown in there. And then I'm gonna have you plug and taste and evaluate cheese plugs the way our cheese graters do. Cheese plug, what's a, what's a cheese plug? You ready to get started? Yeah, we'll start there. To. We'll start there. This is the medium, extra sharp, 2014, six-year-old cheese. Whoa, I can fit this in my carry-on, I think. Let's get started. So yeah, I was gonna say, what's this surgical gear you got? Grab, here? grab, this is the trier. The trier. Careful, it's sharp. Sure. Um, I did. Oh, a little, little trier, trier of my own. That's I always right. wanted one of these. As this thing goes into the cheese, I'm already asking myself, how is this gonna perform in manufacturing? You, by feel, you yeah. can tell a lot, huh? And then... Always a fresh smell. You gotta. Go for it, man. And then just pull it right up. Pretty good. That was perfect. You know, it's kind of hard to put an exact finger on, like, what it smells like. Like, cheddar almost has its own fragrance. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. No, you're right. Believe it or not, our cheese graters, they can smell if it's gonna be bitter or sour, if it's gonna have problems. This one smells perfect to me. Smells perfect. Of course, the best part is to eat. Oh, yeah. As we move down, in time, oh, yeah. this guy is 20 months year old. This falls into wow. our extra sharp category. A little firmer. Yeah. Harder to turn a little, yeah. Smell it. What do you think? Pungent in the best way, cheddar. Yes. Like that cheddar flavor just got intense. Perfect. I couldn't have said it better myself. Stick with me, Sam. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've done that before. Good plug. Top note, cheddar. Sure. Sharp cheddar. But it has that, like a little, it does have like a, a lacticness to it in like Lactic a very acid. nice way. The fat really carries the flavor on your palate for a long Beautiful. time. It's sharing the love. So the sensory team grades every single vat of cheese that we produce. One thing that we're looking for is that this cheese has the perfect quality and organoleptical profile to age out into our reserve program. So okay. that's our much older cheeses. This baby's been here aging out in our warehouse for six years. Wow. So this cheese then goes into our reserve program, which you can buy in the deli cases oh, wow. at various oh, really? years. Yeah, we have like 2012, 13, 14, 15, okay, 16, cool. yep. All right, let's get in there. <laughs> All right. Should I go first? You should, yeah, you should. Man, I'm honored. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, it's firmer, but it's so silky and creamy. Mm -hmm. Totally. I find with tasting aged cheese, they show up as extremely creamy yeah. on the palate. Oh, wow. Right? How do you guys choose which cheese becomes a maker's user? When they cheese graders grade that cheese initially, they only allow the best of the best cheese with that perfect sensory profile to go through to the maker's reserve program. I'm gonna pull you away from these gorgeous 40 pound blocks. I just really wanted to open your palate up with a lot of things we have to offer. So dig into the curd. Well, that's dangerous. You I know. Snack on that. Oh, I know. This is our Kate Mears cheddar. I like to have this with like a glass of scotch. You know? Now we're talking. Mm hmm. And then what we got here? The Morning Star, I wanted to put in front of you because it has a really unique flavor. Fruit, but like slightly fermented fruit that you sprinkled salt on. <laughs> yes, totally. So now we kind of take you to the stirred curd. Little Kojak. Now, is it two types of cheese together? Exactly. <laughs> Can't get nothing past me, Sam. <laughs> the smoked cheddar wins us a lot of awards. Oh, nothing wrong with that. There's two ways to smoke cheese. One, you can add in some artificial flavoring, sure. which we do not do, or you can cold smoke um, Low naturally. Low temperature so it doesn't melt, right? Exactly. Well, it's real. Very nice. It's real. This was a lot of fun, Sam. Thank you. It was so nice to meet yeah. you and have you here. Off to the ice cream, huh? Off to the ice cream. Twist my arm, Sam, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sam, that's 
Fred, welcome to Tillamook. Thank you, Luke. Nice to meet you. What's your role here at Tillamook? I am the current ice cream manager uh, for ice cream manufacturing and packaging. Have you any chance you can maybe uh, show me, show me, you know, how, how you guys do it? We can get you involved. All right, cool. Yeah, you can get lost in this place, huh? Yeah, it's small, but it kind of goes everywhere. Yeah, like, it goes like... exactly. All right, so, so Luke, what kind of ice cream are we making today? Uh, today we're making old-fashioned vanilla. Old-fashioned vanilla. Yep, and we're at the stage right now in our flavor tank where we're going to be flavoring our base mix. So uh, that's all vanilla. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen so much vanilla extract in my life. Yep. This is a mix that's already been aged and ready to go. Makes a good coffee creamer too. Oh, I, oh my God, I bet. Yeah. We're running right now about 48 to 50 cartons per minute on this filler. A lot of ice cream. Yes, it is. <laughs> Where are we going next? After these are all filled up, I noticed the ice cream's pretty soft. So we have a spiral freezer. Can we go in there? Yeah, we can go in. All right. It's cold. It's cold. How cold? Right now it's about 20 below zero, but. The wind chill's about 50, 53 below zero. All right, let's go check that out. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh my God, it's so cold. Yeah. It's cold. That's a lot of ice cream. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Man, that's no joke, that yeah, cold, man. Cold as It's like taking spring break in Fargo. <laughs> A little chilly in there, huh? Yeah. Thanks again for showing me the, the ice cream production. I mean, pretty amazing setup you got here. You know, a lot that goes into it. I'm always fascinated by the like, assembly lines of it, you know, the mechanics of it. Luke, thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Nice to it. meet you, yeah. Hi. Well, hey, guys, I'm Brad. Thank you for, for having me here. And Yeah, hi, my name is Anna Angolia. I'm an ice cream scientist for Tillamook, and I help create all of our new flavors. Oh, well, terrible job. It's awful. Yeah. I'm usually just making a pint at a time. So you can make, you know, cake batter base, or you could do, a like, a just cream cheese frosting experimental base. Experimental yeah. small batch. So we run through it, make sure it's OK, uh, make sure the flavor is on point. Cool. Um, and then once that is given the approval, we go into production, and that's where Chloe jumps in. That's where Chloe in. kicks yep, in, yep. huh? So uh, you're tasting. So tell me what you do, Chloe. Well, I evaluate every single run we make out of Tillamook. What are some of the things you're looking for in a quality ice cream? So for quality ice cream, you want to make sure it's really smooth. The ice crystals need to be like really tiny, and that's going to give you a really good mouthfeel. Um, you want a little bit of mouth coating from the fat in the ice cream. It needs sure. to have a certain amount of cream in it. The swirl is all throughout the container. There's right. no air pocket. It's just that nice, smooth, creamy, beautiful ice cream that we're It's all about consistency. For. And how do you guys quality control that? <laughs> I didn't... Uh, let me show you. Yeah, I'll grab one. All right. Oh, a little strawberry, huh? A little classic. It's a hell of a knife you got there. We do a quick slice. That was pretty straight. Yeah, pop it open. Oh, beautiful. So we just want a, a consistent color throughout. Mm -hmm. And that little marbling you kind of see, we actually like that. Another quick slice. Oh, wow. That's and that cool. really, you can see yeah. the quadrants. You just kind of want to bite that, right? Oh, we, oh, yeah. we will. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> One more cut. This is where you take the bite. Yeah, cheers, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going to get used to it. Dang, all right. <laughs> Real pro. You'll probably notice that it's not like a bright bubble Some, gum like, pink. Some like fake looking pink. Yeah. Oh, I respect that. <laughs> How many different flavors do you guys make? Look at this one. I'm just going for we it. She don't care. Yeah. yeah. 31 flavors. 31 flavors. Next flavor. Yep. What's that? Uh, Marion Berry is Marion. Marion. Oh, Marion. Yeah. A variety of blackberry is uh, designed by Oregon State University. It's a little bit on the sweeter side versus tart side because blackberries can be pretty, pretty sour and tart. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to cut it. You get a B plus on that one. Oh, ooh, look at, would you look at that? Boy, that's pretty. It's a pretty one. We always joke it looks like a Rorschach drawing. What do you see? A bat. A bat. <laughs> so what's next? I cut this way. Oh, heavens. Real consistent placement of the, of the fruit. Yes. I see salmon going up a river. Oh. Ooh. It gets really nice. That's Go very good. And this was the mudslide, you said? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's real good. And this is the peanut butter, right? Mm -hmm. It's really cool to see you guys, you know, from the from the cheese, from the making process to the quality control I did with Sam, and then kind of like a similar uh, approach with you guys, just, you know, with a different product. You know, I just really learned a lot, man. You guys really care about what you're doing. And then, hey, I'm going to go ahead to the to the creamery and get, like, a proper cone. You know, I've been like, yeah, we got it. Are you a sugar cone or a wafer cone or, oh, I'm or a, a waffle? Oh, you're a cup? Uh-huh. Oh, God. <laughs> well, well, thanks, guys. Thank you for coming. Yeah. 
So thank you again to everyone at Tillamook for showing me how they make their cheddar, their ice cream. The time and the effort that goes in to make that product was really kind of blew me away, especially the cheddar and how it's a, a live culture and these enzymes that are carrying through and developing this flavor. I also loved how the human element was a part of it. And now uh, in every step of the way, people, it wasn't just, you know, a high tech factory, but it was people involved and everyone working together. And I think that's something that could easily be skipped and I'm glad that they don't. Thanks again, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Bon appetit.